Would you stream a Bloodborne remaster? With all due respect, we're living in fantasy land right now. It's a game that doesn't exist, hasn't even been announced, much less developed, much less like releases imminent, much less has come out, right? Like we're, we're, we're deep in the fantasy land now. I don't even know what next week is going to look like, much less 2031. It's like you're asking me as a nine-year-old what I'm going to eat for dinner as an adult. Boom, simple answer, chicken nuggets. Wouldn't you know it, I'm 34 years old. I'm like, my ass will have the chopped salad with a chicken breast, please. You know, things change over time. But the world changes, you change. Pretty strange warping of a simple question. Listen, this is the funniest way to describe a joke that I've ever heard in my life. Also, I, I mean, I hope the OP didn't take offense to the answering of the question, but like, you've been asked questions like this for like 15 years. At some point, you gotta have some fun with it. Otherwise, it just becomes a very macabre existence. But what are your thoughts on cheddar cheese? I'm fucking for it. Okay, next question. No, this isn't like inside the actor's studio. We're trying to entertain people here. They're like, if you ask a question, in my opinion, if you read the terms and services of the stream, you are consenting to having your question warped for the amusement of the other people watching the stream. In many ways, it's like almost the worst outcome that I, I shot my whole wad upgrading this weapon that apparently sucks, and it's exactly the same as um, my umbrella. <laughs> like if it was way better, obviously that would be awesome. And if it was way worse, obviously I'd be like, well, this sucks, let's go back to the umbrella. Bullying the guy who asked you a question where the answer is yes? Well, that's not bullying. It's not bullying in the slightest. Also, it's not entertaining. Will you fucking eat three handfuls of goldfish crackers tonight after you ate dinner? After you said you were full from dinner, will you eat three handfuls of goldfish crackers just because you like the flavor? Absolutely, you know? I mean, we could answer all these obvious questions if it would make you happy. Like, I'm... I don't know, maybe for some streamers, they enjoy that. They think that they're very interesting people. I'm like constantly trying to fight back against the idea that I'm special. I'm out here like, why do you care about my opinion on cheddar cheese, bro? I'm literally just a guy you'll never meet. People are like, how do you feel about meat subsidized farming? And I'm like, I have a bachelor's degree in biology the most arts of all the sciences. Like, you're, you're barking up the wrong tree. I don't have any... I don't have any experience to back up my naive worldview. Then yet, yet the questions just keep coming, bro. They just keep coming. Does he still not understand why people watch him? Peeling back the... the we've removed the, the second layer of irony out of, out of an indeterminable amount of layers. Even the response to the, response to the joke was a joke. We turn the response to the joke into another joke. And now you're responding to the joke as if it's real again. And they, even the response, this is not the voice I would normally use if I was responding to a person in the real world. So even this is a joke. It's a performance at the very least. It's all a performance. Is it all fake? Is it all real? The answer is yes. It's all a little bit real and it's all a little bit fake. Beauty is in the eye of the beer holder. You know, in the same way when you look at a piece of art, which is not what I'm saying this is, both you and the art are changed by the experience. It's Schrodinger's stream. The end goal of the stream is just that you were entertained while you're watching. Now, sometimes there's little caltrops people throw in. Why are you bullying the guy who asked if you like cheddar cheese? It's not bullying. Of course I like cheddar cheese, look at me. It's a stupid question. <laughs> now you're gonna be offended on that guy's behalf. That guy doesn't exist. I'm the guy who made up the do you like cheddar cheese question. 
The first guy asked, will you play Bloodborne if it gets remastered on PC? So don't get offended on my behalf, brother. I got enough for the whole class. At some point, there must be solidarity for the irony to make sense. I haven't found that point yet. You may be right. I'm a 90s kid. I'm fluent in irony. And I don't mean that ironically. How annoying does chat have to get for you to close the tab? It'll never happen. I just noticed the lobster up here. It is, it just says Red Lobster, man. Most underrated restaurant out there only because it's so overhated. Give my ass beaten the Red Lobster. Anyway, uh, I would never close chat. Whenever I get annoyed with chat, I just start talking about the video game. <laughs> and that's, I, I punish all of us by making the content shitty. Landmines would go hard in this fight. Listen, go back to Assassin's Creed 6 Fires of Rubicon, okay? Bring it on. You ain't seen nothing like my brother. You're out here using double shotguns? You play Boston's favorite game of 2023. Around here, we play Souls games. Not from software, sophomore slump, okay? Armor Core 6 fires a Rubicon. When do you start playing it? I, would, I wish I could go back in time and not have played it, to be honest with you. I'd be $80 richer right now. Have a lot less angry folks in the chat. When you started playing it, you said you were excited because it is from, from, from software? I know, I was betrayed. What don't you like about it? A bunch of unfair shit, honestly. Like, I just mean it's unfair of me to have had the expectations that it would basically just be a Souls game. It's not really their fault. It's not for me, though. <laughs> Minus two, FromSoft does anything but a Souls game and everyone riots. Not everybody riots. Got like an 88 on Metacritic. Anytime you criticize it, a bunch of dudes with uh, Trigun anime avatars come out of the woodwork to tell you actually, before From Software became famous, they were actually known for uh, Armored Core, so it's actually illegal to criticize it. It's illegal to not like it, actually, because they did that before they did Dark Souls. That's literally my friend, exactly. I know, he's everybody's friend. Every squad got one dude that sleeps in the bathtub, one dude who what is his Armored Core <laughs> Stan. One dude who thinks the Monster Hunter games lost their way once you could actually see what was happening because you had a camera control stick. Every squad's got one, man. One dude who's Dracula. One old dude with Sharpie hair. Saying, you must have amnesia. You forgot I'm him. I wish you'd play Monster Hunter. You don't, and I know, listen. I know you think you do. Like, you want me playing Monster Hunter the way that you think I would play Monster Hunter. But I'll tell you what is going to happen when I play Monster Hunter. I'll be fucking farming a pink turtle for like 80 hours trying to get a rib drop. Oh, I got a proboscis instead. Pterosaur troboscis. Par Parasaur troboscis again. And then I'll just say, fucking stupid game. Why don't they just, why do you have to fight all the bosses? And then someone will be like, that's the point of Monster Hunter is they originally drafted it in the design document, chiseled into fucking stone, and then transcribed into papyrus in the year 1991. And I'd be like, oh, shut up, you motherfucker, you fucking bozo. Who's your favorite villain from Home Alone? I always thought that I was more of a hairy guy, but then as I get older, I empathize more with Marv. And you would say, hey, have you ever thought about Wearing the Ornithopter's uh, blade gear for this, it gives you plus 3% resistance to echoes. And I'd say, shut the fuck up, dude. I'm going to use the sword they gave me at the start of the game. You piece of crap. Like, don't you think it's a little much? Like, in the first movie, I'm not a proponent of the castle doctrine, but in the first movie, they literally try to rob Macaulay Culkin's house. But in the second movie, he just witnesses them robbing a toy store, which is a bad action, but he didn't have to convince them to follow him back to his aunt's brownstone in New York, where he set it up like a murderous jigsaw type mousetrap. He electrocuted Marv so bad we could see his bones, bro.
that's not okay, this guy should be in prison. And then you'll be like, focus on the game. And I'll be like, shut your fuck up. I didn't realize this. I saw it on Twitter. Is it true that Jigsaw put someone in a saw trap for being suicidal? Is What the fuck is wrong with this guy? Apparently in another Saw movie, a dude gets put in a saw trap because he's a smoker. Like, he's just... These are not people that necessarily, like, you know, did something egregious to harm society. I mean, I'm not a fan of secondhand smoke, but I don't think that man should have to, like, you know, eat his own lung to escape or something like that. People say things like, uh, don't you want to take pride in your job? Do you see what the fuck I'm doing here? This is a shameful operation. It's the most shameful industry on the damn planet, I think. I don't want to take pride in the operation. That would be cringe. I'll show up begrudgingly day after day, get paid to do it and have as much fun as I can, but we're not out here. We're not like a, a cardiac surgeon in the neonatal unit or something like that. We're just Jonas in dark, man. I don't know why I exist, okay? You counter my ice block? Somebody's tag has countered my ice block. Somebody's trap card has countered my ice block. Guess they just countered my ice block. Oh yeah.